Hello everyone and welcome back to Jeffrey Talks. The grand finale of season 5 is finally out and as much as I've seen hate towards it, I'm here to truthfully review it and say that although most of the potential and the expectations were not there, it wasn't as bad as everyone is saying, and here's why. The finale discussed the final moments of the aggressed arc, an arc I expected a lot more in the finale. But let's be honest, there's obviously something that changed for the sake of renewing the show. This isn't how it's supposed to be done. But is it the worst finale ever? No for sure not, but it for sure could have been executed a lot better. I'll start with the bad points before we transition into the good things. The fact that Cat Noir wasn't there. As Ladybug's partner, as the son of the Agrists, he deserved to know, to fight, and maybe this was the reason Ladybug actually lost, because he's not there to be with her. Something Monarch himself said back in deflagration. I'm not that mad regarding the fact that Adrian wasn't there because it was expected. He's not equally treated as Ladybug in the show, and it's obvious. But does this make Marinette a bad main character? Obviously not. Her character development throughout the seasons was great. It's not Marinette's problem if the writers didn't treat Adrian with a justice. I understand the fact that the show wants to show female empowerment. However, you can't expect the fandom to accept the way another main character is treated. Adrian isn't any character. He's literally the center of the story. Anyway, going season 6 onward, if Adrian is not in any battle, we can't excuse the writers anymore for sidelining him for the fact that his father is the villain, because his father is not here anymore. Another thing is the fact that Gabriel is remembered as a hero. This abusive person, the person who terrorized Paris, the person who literally turned crazy over the course of 5 seasons, now has a statue and is named hero for defeating himself. He didn't deserve the redemption. Even if they reminded us that he's human, he cares about Adrian, he truly loves Emily. This guy literally traumatized children. Goodbye, what kind of a defeat is this? After the wish happened, I still think Nathalie, Ladybug, Tiki, Plague, and Layla know the truth. If the writers don't make the tea slip to Adrian, I have no more faith in the show. Third, the fact that this is the worst time to keep a character consistent. Gabriel's words for Marinette were not to tell Adrian the truth but indeed tell him about the times he tried to be a good father, which we know Marinette will do, like she didn't even tell him about the scarf yet. However, she should tell Cat Noir. Unless the writers want to create more plot holes, Marinette doesn't know who Adrian is, and with the growth of the partnership between our duo, she must tell him how everything was before. Thus, she will tell Adrian without noticing. At least, that's what I'm wishing. Maybe it's a dream that will never come true. Fourth, the wish is so simple, but it wasn't even explained. As much as I love the sequence, during the whole show, the wish has been always explained as something that is horrifying. It's something for something else. The time skip is so weird, like we didn't even know what the wish is, or what the consequences are, or who came back. I guess this was meant to be executed properly in season 6. Now, after ranting about the whole finale, here are the good stuff. Action-wise, the plan, the battle, the events, and the storyline of the finale were great. Everything was executed properly, and I couldn't stop gasping. I love Bug Noir's design, I love the confrontation, and I love the time skip scene. It was indeed a perfect way to end it. The problem in the finale is how it was executed story-wise because of how much was built before and it wasn't even in the finale. The final scene, maybe it is what redeemed the finale for me, but no, it isn't. And no, I'm not talking about the cliffhanger, I'm talking about Marinette giving out the miraculouses. The fact that she was able to retrieve the miraculous and give them out to their proper holders just made me smile and showed how much she grew as a character. This opens up a lot of doors for the future of the show. Now, for what actually made me have hope for the show is the controversy and the theory the show was able to make. After the wish, nothing was explained. We were left in a void, not understanding what Gabriel's wish was, not understanding if she's Amelie or Emily, not understanding the consequences of the wish, and finally, Lila getting a hold of the butterfly miraculous. The fact that they were able to make the fandom alive by just putting these simple details, this was all great. The fact that the writers still have ways to make us excited for the next season is great. We can all agree that they made a good choice continuing the show from this cliffhanger. I am indeed excited for the next season. Overall, the finale may look bad for the previous seasons, and it is indeed bad if it was the end of the story, but since it was a setting for the great start of the next season, it is redeemed. Lila has a greater potential than Gabriel had or will have. Her different identities, the psycho character I love, I can't wait to see her shine as a villain. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you liked my review, share down your thoughts on the finale and your expectations for the next season. See you soon with new theories for the next season as our specials bug out.